Greetings everybody, Guzzle here, checking out another new game for you today. This is a game called Wild City. It is a tile placement roguelite. They call it deck building, we'll see about that. Tile matching kind of game. You guys will see how it kind of all works. Let's jump right in. And so what we're doing in this game is we're putting together a little town here. And we're choosing our citizens, and it turns out the citizens all have synergy bonuses with each other. So, for example, let's look at the ant here. Plus two worker ants in the group, max plus ten. So the plus two refers to the uh, the amount of money we're going to get as a bonus for having them together. The hummingbird here gets plus three per adjacent flower, but being next to the ant does not help the hummingbird at all. So in this circumstance, because this is not a good matchup, I'm going to just take the solo ant here. And now here's our beginner kind of uh, grid or what, whatever you want to call it, our hex tiles here. Um, and this is how we kind of begin building our town. So one ant on his own kind of doesn't really matter. It's not as important where he goes. But I might put him right in the middle just because we can then set ants around him. Uh, if we can manage that. So goal right now is to get uh, basically earn enough money for the uh, end of the day, which I believe is to be 20. And right now we're kind of struggling a little bit um, in terms of what we need to build to kind of start getting money out of here. Now, two hummingbirds, would, if I had put a flower in the middle, that would be a good tile to put down. But since we weren't able to do that, let's just take this tulip. And we'll throw it down, like, how about right there? Sure. All right. We are provided now with another ant, which is nice. We're going to take that, and I'm going to put them right up there. So now the ants are actually helping each other. Another flower is not really what we're after, but we're going to take this tile so that we can take the other, sorry, take the other ant. By the way, guys, you rotate the tiles with the mouse wheel. Um, so uh, I have a bad habit of right clicking instead of doing the mouse wheel. Hopefully that won't happen too much more. So here's the thing, right? We don't know if we see a hummingbird show up, um, putting the two flowers next to each other, not that useful. So we'll throw, we'll throw the uh, ant in uh, right there, just like that. So we've got, we've got our, it was 15 bucks we were trying to put together there. Okay, so now we have a new, new citizen to choose. Uh, we offered a bumblebee. So it says turn end if adjacent to a flower spawn a copy. Uh, okay, and then we had a crab. At the turn end, move to the side if adjacent to shell transform into a hermit crab. Well, we don't have shell yet. There's a spider plus three when adjacent web is removed. At the turn end, it spawns a web. Um, What would remove the web, I wonder? I'll tell you what. Since we know we have flowers already, let's try the bumblebee out. And now we have another choice. We can add cards or remove cards. Um, like for instance, what about removing for 15? Well, let's take a look at our cards here first. Lucky Clover plus 5% chance to find uncommon rare epic cards in the Lucky Clover deck. Okay. I'm not, not sure what the, the deck is referring to, but, um, we also could get a rabbit on play spawn rabbit if adjacent to rabbit. And then a chicken could lay down an egg. So in two turns, they turn into a chicken. Um, I'm not sure. Like, let's take a look at our. Yeah. So I'm kind of tempted, honestly, man. Part of me wants to get rid of the ant. Like, let's let's go back. Let's remove the ant for now. Um. Yeah, we can only remove one. So that's good to know. We can't afford any of the other things except the rabbit now. I'm okay with that. Um, what I want to look for is a uh, some kind of synergy more with the flowers since now we have the bee and the hummingbirds. So we'll just double down on flowers. 
So we'll just go forward. We have 37 bucks in the bank for next time. Speaking of flowers, here we go. We're going to throw a flower in the middle this time. So that should be pretty nice. And we got the B right there. So hold on. The B is worth three. Um. Okay, let's do this. I want to see how the bee works, so we'll do that right there. And then if- oh, so it's spawning another flower! I see. Okay, put it next to the bird. Alright. We got a new policy to decide here. Now this is kind of the roguelite element of the game. Well, we're not going to take the ant one. Myrmecology, is that how you say that? Myrmecology? I don't know. Myrmecology might sound more authentic or uh, correct. <laughs> I am not a biologist. Uh, but anyway, plus one when you place an ant. Well, we're phasing ants out, so that's that's working against our synergy now. Diversity, plus 10 when you place new cards. And then ornithology, plus one when you place a bird. Ornithology is okay. But we're kind of leaning into insects and the flowers at the moment. We do have the hummingbirds, but um, that's it for now. We didn't take any other birds. We could always look at our deck. So I'll take diversity. That is a uh, very interesting graphical uh, effect right there. <laughs> I don't know how I was able to do that, but that was kind of fun. Anyway, let's take a look here. Ooh, mosquito, huh? Okay, Redwood is a tree. Turn N plus one. Just straight up gives you some money, huh? Uh, it's worth eight, so that's kind of nice. But the mosquito, turn N if adjacent to an animal plus three. I wonder if that would also count with the, uh, with the bee. Probably not, because it does say insect and small under the, uh, under this divider. So I, I would think it would not work. It would only work on the hummingbird. So that's... I don't know. So I don't know, man. So yeah, I probably would want to grab... Well, sheep's worth four and then plus six per adjacent sheep. That's not too bad, but we're only going to have one, right? So that's a bit tougher to pull off. Um, Let's think about it. I think I'll just take the Redwood, honestly, because it pays out a lot. And let's go back and let's remove another card. We're phasing out the ants. It just is what it is. So, all right, we got a tree and then we got the bumblebee. So let's throw that in there. We'll do it like, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, that tree pays out a lot. Uh, we don't have a flower yet, but my plan is to throw a flower probably in the middle there. So we'll throw the hummingbird right here. Hey, look at that. We already made our uh, daily quota there. All right. A fountain. Uh, add three riverbed to your deck. What does a riverbed look like? If adjacent to water, transform into river. Okay. Rivers, double adjacent tiles. Electric central. Add three pole to your deck. Oh, wow. Um... Here's the thing. I don't know how we're going to get space on the board to do all this, right? I mean, this seems like uh, a little too involved here. I just don't see it happening. I mean, the the fountain is sort of similar, but it's a little bit it's a little bit scaled down. So let's take the fountain. Um, Sunflower could be great, actually, because of the, uh, we have the flower synergy happening. Let's buy that. We go back. We don't have enough to remove this time, so we still have an ant kind of clogging up. This is, oh, there we go. We finally expanded it. Okay. Okay, so that makes a big difference. There's the riverbed. And we got the sunflower out there. All right, let's do this tile. We'll throw it on... Yeah, let's throw it kind of a little central here. Actually, that looks pretty good. There we go. We got the bird. Let's take that. And we're going to roll it. Uh, something like... I think that's good. 
Another sunflower, huh? I think this is going to be better. Because we do this. Right there. Yeah. Well, we reached our quota really quick that time. We got a snake. Kill adjacent bird. Wow. Um... Flytrap will kill a small insect. Hmm. I think that's interesting to feed the flytrap our bees and our... We can even feed them the ant, too. I, I like it. Let's grab that guy. Okay, let's take... Uh, okay, well, let's look at the cards... Um, like Daisy's not bad. Ivy Sprout. Yeah. Let's take out the uh, last ant. I know I just said we'll feed the ant to the, uh, the fly trap, but it's kind of, it's clogging up the deck a bit there. There's the fly trap already, huh? I think we throw the tree in. For the time being. I think maybe we put it down here towards the bottom. We'll put the hummingbird close close by so that, yeah, like here we go. Here's a flower. So that's nice. And we grab another flower and another hummingbird. Nah, let's let's try to get the uh let's try to get the uh sorry, the um the fly trap set up here. Yeah. Hmm. But where? Where do we want them? Let's try this out. Oh, he spawned it. I forgot he was going to spawn right right next to him. So we're uh, we're getting to the point where it's going to start to be kind of full. So that's not great, you know. But this will help the hummingbird there. The bee's just going crazy, huh? Another uh, redwood, huh? I mean, that's going to be a good payout, at least. Okay, well, we got our money taken care of, that's for sure. Okay, so I see on the little grid at the bottom, it shows you how many turns you have before the uh, the town expands and you get more hex uh, tiles to put down. Okay, well, we have the fly trap. So disinfestation is probably our play here. Let's go for it. Again, we're going to add some cards because we basically um, we can't remove at this point. We got a jellyfish. He's worth a lot. Move to a random adjacent empty tile. Uh, lizard, if he gets killed, he spawns a tail. Hmm. I think I'll take... I guess I'll take the jellyfish. He's just worth a, enough. Maybe it makes sense. I don't know. I'm starting to worry about our synergy or their lack thereof. Let's take this tile. And the jellyfish will just start kind of roaming around. So he might cause problems and, like, block certain... Um, you know, certain tiles and stuff. Well, we'll just have to see what happens here. Maybe we'll put the sunflower there. There's another combo of the... I, I kind of like this combo. Because the redwood's just... It's just going to pay out, you know, really nicely. What if we do it like this instead, actually? Yeah, something like that. 
Uh, oh, there's the fly trap with a bee right next to him. I think we got to try to do make this happen. Like, we want to try to put... Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I did not expect the the animation to be... <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, so the bee got decapitated, if you guys didn't catch that there. That's pretty hilarious. Let's go, let's go for another tree. And the flower. For the hummingbird there. Something like that. Oh no, maybe, maybe like that. There we go. Okay, there's another bee. So let's feed the, let's feed the fly trap again. I love it right there. Oh, is he not ready to eat? Uh oh, now he is. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> nice. That's hilarious. Oh, a cemetery plus 10 when an adjacent card is killed, huh? Uh, the treehouse gives plus five to adjacent trees and birds. That's amazing for our loadout here. What else can we do here? Uh, actually, the fly we could feed to the fly trap. Um, he's worth a lot too. That might work out great. Fly trap. Let's go, dude. Are we expanding yet? Not quite yet. I wish I could kind of see the track. It's a six out of fifteen. I wish I could see that. Okay, we got a bird, we got a fly. Oh, the treehouse is just already there. That's interesting. So bird near the treehouse would help. So we'll, why don't we throw in uh, or fla two flowers. All right, let's throw in the hummingbird next to the treehouse. We'll keep them kind of... Kind of... Um, Nah, let's put them there, and we'll put flowers around if we can. We'll try that out. There's the jellyfish. Actually, that's... Let's put that up. I'll put it, like, up here. Where is my mantis, dude? Or sorry, the uh, fly trap, not mantis. Dude, you know what though? If we like as soon as that freaking as soon as the fly trap comes out, it's game over for the uh, the flies. <laughs> I tell you that much. Hummingbird ought to be happy with that. Oh, there we go. That's what we're lack we're looking for there. Yeah. Okay, another like up here. Um, put the hummingbird right next to the. Okay, one more. There we go. We got it. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Yeah, I think this is going to be nice right here. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me, but the way it's just so violent, it's so crazy, like just kind of needlessly violent. It just makes me crack up. Uh, we need another tree if we can grab one by the... Uh, Uh, yeah, this is going to be good down here. There we go.
Nice. Okay, we one more, one more, and then we have an expansion coming up. There's another flytrap. Capybara. We don't have uh, very many animals. It's mostly insects. Only animal we got is the jellyfish, huh? Um, I don't know. We could always skip. Um. Or we take another flytrap. Do we need multiples, though? I kind of don't think so, you know? I mean, it can't hurt, right? Leaf cutter ant. Kill adjacent small and medium plant. Every worker ant in the group becomes a leaf cutter ant. Well, we kind of... Well, I can't even afford that one anyway, so... Let's grab another tree. Payout's pretty good on those. Okay, here we go. We'll, t we'll start with the water. Way up there. Oh... Yeah, I think this is, uh... Throw the hummingbird, like... Let's put him, like, over here. Well, maybe, maybe we go... Towards that way. Oh, man. Well, there's a triple there. Does that make sense? That makes more sense to me. Here we go. I guess we're going to try to do this. We're uh, doing like a little river through the center here. I need flowers, though. Uh, okay, we'll throw this guy. There's a flower. That's what we're after right there. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to wonder, you know, if the payouts are good enough, you know? Okay, grab this. Um, yeah, that's great. So if it wasn't clear, guys, we have till the end of the night to make all of our money. And if we don't get there, we lose. So something to be kind of something to be aware of, you know, I can't really slot this where it needs to go. So we'll do something like this. It's not awesome, so maybe not. Uh, hmm. We'll just try to do that, I guess. I think we're going to get there. I'm not that worried about it. Let's grab this one and then throw it in up there. Getting a, yeah, we're getting the hang of this, I think. We're getting the synergies going, you know. Let's grab one of these dudes. We'll throw them in up there. Very nice. Hey, look at that. We made it. All right. New expansion coming up. What do we got here? Invasion plus six when you activate spawn effect. Migration plus eight when you activate move. Hey, that's great for the, uh, the jellyfish that floats around. So that's 
Yeah, he's going to move. Let's grab Migration. Plus 8 every time he moves is crazy good. Uh, let's see. The hawk would kill a small animal below and then move down. Um, you know what? Is there anything we can kind of get rid of? I think what we have is fine. Like, maybe getting rid of a tulip? The only animal to kill would be the, uh, would be the, uh, the hummingbirds. So that's not really, I don't think that's really going to be, like, that beneficial. How about another jellyfish since the move bonus is now in effect? Let's try that out. Uh, speaking of jellyfish, this is pretty good to start here. Hell yeah. Love it. That's what we want. Although the jellyfish won't have anywhere to move. So maybe not. Maybe we get it like out here. Nah, I was going to say, because we're kind of cutting ourselves off a little bit if we do that. We're halfway there with the money, though, so that's all pretty good. Another hummingbird, huh? Yeah, this is nice. We're getting all these extra payouts. That bee's going crazy, huh? All right, we cleared it. No problem. So we're more than halfway through if we can keep going here. Spawn a mystery egg. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm too intrigued not to take it. A stick insect. Wow, he's worth a lot. All right, let's grab him. Feed him to the fly trap, dude. Oh, we got expansion. Let's go. The bird nest. It's huge. Um Let's get let's get it set up, dude, cuz we're going to They're going to love it. Maybe we throw him down here? I don't know. No, I think it's better Better there. Oh, we got an egg. The jellyfish. Look, I know that, uh, I know that the, uh, the jellyfish moving around pays out pretty well. Oh my God, it's spawning. It's just going to keep spawning eggs like crazy, huh? Let's, uh, let's get that going though. 
Oh, got a crow. Oh, look at this. You got the stick, stick, uh, bu stick bug there. We'll throw this like, I mean, I don't know where it makes sense, but we'll just put him in a corner over here and <laughs> just start feeding the fly trap. Got birds coming out of the woodwork, dude. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. I guess I don't know if the uh, if the birds are helping us with the treehouse exactly. But there's a lot of birds popping out of there. It's pretty nuts. Oh. All the bonuses, man. So, okay, let's grab another. Yeah. The chickens are going wild over there. <laughs> um, okay. Can we do... That seems fine, right? All the payouts. It's crazy. Um, Hummingbird is going to love it. Okay, let's get the the fly trap all set up here. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, ooh. Wait, how could I build there? That doesn't make any sense. So many chickens. Oh my god. And they just keep going. It's nuts. Okay. That was uh, <laughs> the Kraken Tentacle. Look at that. If adjacent to a plus four Kraken, remove me to spawn the Kraken head. Plus 25 per Kraken Tentacle, dude. That's insane. Um, That'd be pretty tough to build on our, the current size of our board. Uh, a ghost Plant. Plus 9 per adjacent mushroom. We don't have any mushrooms at all. We gotta go for the Kraken, right? I mean, come on. Uh, let's see. Sloth would... Oh, just kidding. We can't afford anything, so... We could lock something, but none of this stuff seems to really... Uh, kind of work with what we got going on. So we just move on. Let's see. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get our... Uh, we'll get the... Um, the jellyfish out there early. Sorry, I want the hummingbird near... Yeah, something like that, I think. Oh, man, the freaking birdhouse is going to go nuts. There's Kraken. Oh, man, we got to do it, right? We got to do it. We'll put them up like... Oh, but we want the... Uh, yeah, we want the... Um...
They have to be adjacent, right? That's the tentacles. <clears throat> Hold on a second. If adjacent. All right. We got to leave enough room. We got to leave enough room for this. That's probably fine. Double hummingbird, huh? All right, we need some flowers over on that side. There goes a tree. Hmm. This is the first time... Oh, something just got eaten over there. I'm not sure what. <laughs> uh, we need... Um, yeah, we need... Uh, the flowers in place here. Oh, that's pretty good. So, I think this is a hawk or some kind of bird. Just went to town. Okay. Can we do this? With the fly. Okay, maybe. Well, that would open up the slot where the fly is going to be anyway. So we still have a chance to get the Kraken connected. Oh, a snake popped up. Holy crap. Out of a out of an egg? That's pretty wild, huh? Let's grab this. Uh oh. Damn, this egg is in the way. That's annoying. Alright. This could be nice when we exp <laughs> Oh, this I think the snake's eating the uh eating the birds. I think that's what's going on. Nice, dude. This is crazy, huh? Um, None of this is that good. I suppose we really want two flowers over by the... Uh, over by the hummingbirds. Damn, the snakes are going crazy over there. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, I think we're kind of doing pretty good on hummingbirds, honestly. Why don't we just, like, do something like that? Don't really want to block the fly traps over there. Do that. Um Yeah, we're kind of blocked, man, honestly. Let's grab this. And we could do, like... Oh, 
I love the snakes are just taking care of it. The, oh, here we go. We need... We need the Kraken to come alive, dude. We gotta make it happen. We're almost there. I love it, dude. This is hilarious. Do we only have one? I thought there were two jellyfish. I was wondering if one got stuck and if they can't move, they die or something. I don't know. But now we got two. Dude, killing the stick bug. We all got so close to getting the Kraken, but not quite there. Dang, man. Oh, next one is an expansion. Well, I think it's a pretty obvious choice. We're going to take Botany here. A locust. Kill adjacent small plant. Uh... We really care about a bush. It is worth more than the tree, even. Can I see the uh I wanna see our the tree house thing? Is that in the deck? It doesn't appear to be. The riverbed is though. Hmm. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like a reroll. Mangrove. Or the daisy could be... Oh, we can't afford the mangrove. Dang. A water route. That would have been nice. We have river going for us. We can't afford it. I suppose we could lock it, though, huh? Do we want the daisy? Uh... I, I don't think it's that good. Let's save the money. Move something. I think I think we're okay. Or maybe getting rid of one of the hummingbirds, perhaps. I, f I always feel like we just kind of have too many of those. Maybe that's maybe we could do that. Yeah, we got three of them. We don't need three. I think that's... we get rid of one of those. Alright, well, I think like before, it makes sense to me to get the jellyfish started, because he can just move around. And honestly, doesn't really matter where we put him. So up in the corner seems to make sense, or maybe over here. Yeah, something like that. There's the hummingbird. Oh, this is better. Maybe in the corner. Yeah, we gotta expand along the bottom to keep the, the nest at bay because, oh, double kraken, we have to take that. Are you kidding me? We have to take that, dude. We're gonna see the kraken, it's gotta happen. Two hummingbirds, huh? And a jellyfish. We'll put it down here. Dude. Well, a jellyfish is going to get stuck. There we go. That should be fine. Hopefully he can still move around. Um, I don't really love either of these, but that's... We could do something like... Something like that, I guess. That's kind of interesting right there. Got set up for the, the fly trap.
Now there's not the birds aren't so out of control this time. Two flowers. I think we have to take this and slot them in right here. So that we keep the, the bird nest from over dominating the bottom half there. Um yeah, let's take this and we throw it. where it should go. I think it makes sense. I don't know why the camera's moving like that, but it's just uh, it's doing its thing, I guess. More chickens coming in. There's a Kraken. We have to take it. We're so close. We have to have adjacent. One more Kraken. We're there. Does that triple one make sense anywhere? Where's my Kraken, man? So many birds. <laughs> this birdhouse is pretty wild. Um, I... Freaking eggs everywhere. All right, that'll that'll work. One more, come on, give me a kraken. We gotta get this done. I gotta see the kraken, dude. What the hell? Well, we'll take the one tile, of course. Why there? That he can't move anywhere. That doesn't make any sense. There is the Kraken. Can we do it? It's so crowded down there. I think we can do it. Please tell me we can do this. Oh no. Oh no, man. Oh, we so we screwed up. Damn it. I guess it's never going to give you one that's uh, you know, impossible to place somewhere. But that was, I thought maybe we could angle it at a right rotation to get it to work. Again, we're screwed because of the jellyfish or are they're in the way. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's not meant to be, huh, guys? We're just like freaking, we're, we're uh, walled in now. 
We're running out of space. It's okay, we're out. Yeah, we just didn't get the Kraken done. Dang it. An obelisk. Uh, Metro A, spawn Metro B. Tiles adjacent to Metro A. Okay. I mean, we'll see. Do we want the mangrove? We still can't afford it. All right. Nice. Where's Metro? Oh. We'll start off with a tree right here to keep the uh, bird's nest at bay. Um. Yeah, this is going to be... I need to fill that bottom area up quick, man. Want the bird and the tree. There we go. I wonder if we put a flytrap by the metro thing, we can kind of feed them from two different areas. That'd be kind of interesting. Guess we put in a jellyfish, although we did get kind of burned by that last time, but we'll see what happens this time. I want him to sort of move. Yeah, I'll put them way over here, I think. There's another snake this time. Dang, we're getting kind of like junk this time, you know? I don't really want to crack and way down there. But maybe we just accept it, huh? This is interesting. Um, I think it's time we got to do this. Kind of walled the snakes off, but... flowers for the birds, huh? The chickens just expand like crazy. There we go. Snake's starting to work. Uh, Flytrap, he's sort of isolated now. The eggs are going through the metro thing. That's not good. Um, need the flower. I, 
guess, there. Hopefully that means the jellyfish can move through the uh, metro tunnel, too. I'll give it plenty of room to move around. That's nice right there. Even on the expanded board, we're like running out of room. And we're not even halfway there. Lots of payouts, but they're not amounting to much. Okay, so we need... Just need a fly trap or two. Yeah, I don't know if we're making it through this one. This might be the end of it. Oh, there goes a fly. We don't have the fly trap. These chickens are expanding up there. This is getting kind of scary. I think we're probably not going to make it this time. There's a fly trap, though. Let's go. The Kraken, sadly, is kind of a pipe dream. Which kind of bums me out, but is what it is, you know? Yeah, so it's getting to be dusk, and we're not even half... We're just a little bit over halfway. So I don't see this really coming together, unfortunately. I think we've deployed all of our hummingbirds as well. So many chickens, though. Um... I don't know if this makes any sense. Probably doesn't. The uh, jellyfish got to move around to get the bonus. Nice. Um. All right, it's nighttime. I think we're screwed, guys. I think we have officially missed our payment, our income requirement. We have four turns left to pull this out. I don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening here. And I grabbed a pretty crappy tile. got three turns. Yeah, it's probably over. Freaking chickens, man. They just took over.
Well, everybody's stuck. We're out of tiles, and now we just gotta ride it out, I think. We're officially full on the board here. Is there a... Okay, let's put a fly. Yeah, I think we're screwed, guys. We got one more turn. I mean, I don't know. Best we can do, Hummingbird is the best thing. Uh, is this it? Or do we get one more? Man, we got fairly close. That's it, we're done. Game over. So this is all the stuff that was earning the most, huh? So this... This, uh, what was that one called again? The move one, we earned so much money from that. And the trees were big earners, too. Interesting, huh? Well, guys, the graphics reset on me. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, that's Wild City. I think it's pretty cool, but it's sort of, uh... It feels a bit restricting. Um, like, you don't have a lot of leeway... And if you're not, like, completely optimal with your picks for your citizens, you get kind of screwed up. But uh, it was interesting, and I think, you know, I'll keep my eye on this one, guys. And uh, I'll, as always, I'll have a link to the game in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But if you're a big fan of synergy and set building and tile placement, I think you would really enjoy this one. I think it has a lot of potential. It needs a little bit of probably some balance tweaking, but, you know... Games like this is always, they always keep adding stuff and iterating on it. So I think there's a lot of potential here. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you made it through the whole video, I know this one was a bit on the longer side and we did not see the Kraken. So I apologize, but hey, we still had a good time. At least I did. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you for the next one.